Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of uh, Let's Play Silver 1999. In the last episode, if you remember, we dealt with the cathedral in Spires and we finished off Jack. Well, we didn't. A uh, green dragon came down and killed Jack and allowed us to then finish the dragon. Kill the dragon. You, you know what I mean. Now, where do we need to go from here? We need to go to David's house once again because we got a key item and we now need to carry on with our adventure in trying to find the rest of the orbs. And if I'm not mistaken, the next one will be the lightning orb. Yeah, I think so. I think the next one's the lightning orb. Let's see. So in order to get that, we need to do some uh, side tracking. Huh. It's incredible because I've been I'm still in the same uh, recording session. I've started recording at 10 uh, 10 p.m. So I'm trying to be quite um you know, not too loud because I know it's 1 a.m. now and my neighbors might want to sleep. So I'm trying to record, and again, that was my phone, sorry about that. So I'm trying to record without making too much noise and making sure that I don't really bother my neighbors too much. Because I'm having a lot of fun while recording. And I've recorded quite a lot of the uh, first half of the game already, so I might as well carry on. And I'm planning on, you know, publishing these uh, once a day as a set date on YouTube. Hopefully nothing has failed. I would be distraught if my uh, recording software had failed. That would be terrible actually. Ah, here we go. This is the burning tree and we can use the uh, finitum incantatum. Well, it, that's not the name of it. But basically this stops the trees from burning. And we can now fight these things and carry on with our adventure. I don't know why this thing appeared, just randomly. Dr. Bozuki was insistent that you should join him at the Temple of the Oracle as soon as possible. So Dr. Bozuki wants us to go to the Temple of the Oracle, so let's go. I think he only has new potions to show us, but he might have some story. He might have some um, plot going on, so we might as well ask him. Go on, Dr. Bozuki, surprise us. I've reviewed the calculations of my formulas, and I've managed to increase the potency of my weed potions. At no extra cost to your good self, I might add. I'll also do you a favor and swap your old files for new. Now, can I interest you in any of my So, basically, he gave us new potions to replace the ones we already had. We had a couple of life potions and one magic potion, if I'm not mistaken. And now he sells loads of potions, like the gas cloud, the Exploding Vial, the Enchanted Armor, uh, the Strength Potion, and then the Magic and Health Potion. Everything but his Chaos Potion. So, we don't want anything right now, we're absolutely fine, but now we want to go to the Fire Tree. Because it actually saves in your map. I should have done that before, and uh, would have saved us this little trip at the beginning of the episode. But I didn't really want to spoil that that was a thing. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, everything will happen eventually for a reason. Now, if we play our cards correctly, today we might be able to find a new character and fight a new boss. That would be a very, very uh, good session right now in one episode if we can do that. But it's a long way to go, so don't quote me on that. I'll try to do both, but it will depend on how much time I take to do things. Also, these are dropping rats, so I should stop and get them. There we go. Uh, now that I don't have... Yeah, I thought of, of this. Now that I am I'm not using any ranged weapon people, I should potentially leave them to uh, fight on their own. These little demons that go doi. Doi, doi, doi. Oh, there we go. That's some gold. That's actually a lot of gold. Let's save. Uh, take the time to save. There we go. 
Again, I don't remember the Chronicler showing up so many times as it has done in this Let's Play. But again, this game is under a lot of um, updates under GOG.com, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was a review of the game that makes it more uh, crash safe. So if the game crashes, at least you have saved, probably, quite recently. Go on. Oh. These purple ones have their own version of the Reaper special attack. And they deal a little bit of damage, so you might want to be careful with that. That's cool. In the meantime, they dropped yet another 500 gold and some more rats. That's very cool. And now, here we have a boss. Just impromptu boss fight. Yeah, so this boss is not too bad. I should have the other two attacking. Uh, right now, I need to run away. He'll do this from time to time. You just need to move away from him, and then it's a hack and slash boss, so nothing really to be worried about. We've dealt with plenty of other bosses that were much, much more difficult. Oh, he's gonna deal damage. Oh, he missed. I was very lucky there. That thing deals a lot of damage, that attack. Now, Vivienne is almost dead. I don't really want to heal, so I'm just gonna put Jug in charge for a little bit. Well, Jug is almost dead because of my incompetence, but at least now everyone's back to life. And level up! Yay! Why did we want this, boss? Because we needed this key and we also wanted this thunder rod, even though I don't really use it much, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I have much uh, use for it. Now, this key is going to be very important for another orb we'll, we will get eventually, but without further ado, we I promised you that I would try to get a new partner for us, a new character. So let's carry on this way and see if I can get there, because we still, oh, that's fine, we're still halfway through the episode, if the episode is going to have the amount of minutes it usually has, that be 15. Uh, I can now go back to just using Jug and leaving the other ones to attack on their own volition. Like I said, this part of the game is very, very action heavy and not really dialogue heavy. So expect me to have some uh, moments where I'm trying to fill in with commentary, trying to make myself a little bit entertaining if I can. Not expecting much out of it. Um, hmm. Uh, I just want to check. We already have nine rats. We're going to need to eat some rats if we want to get some. Ooh! This is a cool thing. I forgot. Ye this is where you get the longbow that I mentioned a few episodes ago. This is where you first get it. There we go. There's a longbow. So now... Sukune, if we want to get her, will have an even um, stronger weapon. In the meantime, Jug is just dealing with everything here. I just decided to control Jug because I don't always control him, so I might as well do. So, eat a rat, even though you're almost full of energy, eat a rat, just so that we can get these two and carry on. Ah! So it's even quicker than I thought. Ladies and gentlemen, blup, ladies and gentlemen, meet Cajun. Damning us to a life of anguish. You say we. Have you been affected by the poison? No. I was in rain during the infection and was spared the madness. But while my brothers suffer, I suffer. Rest assured, silver will pay. But you can't live in the monastery without water. Where will you go? If your mission challenges silver, then my place is with you. I am strong and proficient in the more traditional fighting arts. 
I would be a loyal ally. So, welcome Cajun to the party, and I think it's time to leave Vivienne behind, just because we've had Vivienne for a while. We might as well give Cajun some uh, spot in the sun and leave Chug with us. So, Vivienne, you have been incredible for us, but now is the time to have Cajun. Now, cool thing about Cajun, he is better without a weapon. But that also means he won't be able to use the special power, the special attacks. So, let's, uh, let's give Cajun five minutes of our time and see if we can, if I can show you how good of a martial artist he really is. So, these are the monks that have been poisoned by Silver's water and are now turning against their own man. And here you go, Cajun! Well, he's way up there, but he's dealing a lot of damage, as you can see, with his bare hands. Hudai! Hi! So he has the spinning kicks, he has the uh, jumping kick that deals a lot of damage, and he has some other special moves like the backflip dodge, which is a very cool dodge. And these monks are really, really a pain in the ass to deal with. Unfortunately, you can't use the um, uh, special attacks, as I mentioned. Oh, uh, oh! I have space for everything, so please catch them all. I thought I didn't have inventory space for all these food, but apparently I do. Right, for the rest of the episode, let's at least look a little bit into this, um, this monastery and see how far we can get. It's not really long, but there is a lot to do here. And we'll have to come back to it a couple of times until we have everything completed. So, be expected to have this uh, uh, go over the next episode as well. Because we're not far away from finishing this one. Oh, no, I want Cajun. Please. I would like to uh, control Cajun if that's alright. Because it's always cool to control a martial artist. Now, this monk that has been eva ev evading us, avoiding us, you might think he's a special monk, but nope, it's just a regular one. He's just been playing with us this whole time. Hoorah! Look, look here, you. Give me... I'm gonna swipe at you until you die, so we might as well be quiet and still. There we go, that's brilliant. There you go with another one. Oh, not what I meant to do. Aha! Now, over here, there's yet another chest that needs to be uncovered. I don't know if I'm going to uncover all the chests, because I probably won't remember where they are. But eventually we will be able to uncover that chest and all the other ones that have shown up. Oh, we have too many breads, do we? Jug, that one's for you. Thank you. Uh, hi, I thought I pressed the button. Right, so... Ah, there we go. Sorry, something was messing me up on the floor. So, um... You know what? I think the best option would be to stop the episode here. Uh, we've already fought a boss and we got ourselves a new character and we need to go over this new um, place where we are to proceed with the story so on the next episode we will carry on through this monastery and see where it was going to lead us so thank you very much for watching once again and i'll see you in the next episode of let's play silver 1999 see you then